How I made my own Instagram inspired bathroom glass storage. <laughs> Hey guys, Cedar for Essentials here. This is a beautiful bathroom glass storage that I saw on Instagram and I knew I had to try it out for myself because I love the way it looks. And I want to make this DIY as easy as possible for myself. So I got two pieces of wood that I had already used as shelves. And that was for a different setting that I didn't need anymore. So instead of throwing the woods away, I made good use of them. I just used the exact same wood that I had used there. Now here are the small pieces of wood that I got, cut them to size, I painted them white and attached them to the wood. Now that I have the exact wood pieces that I need, I'm gonna go ahead now and add two together. I measured how wide I want this shelf to be, so that was how I was able to cut out the exact measurements of the wood piece that I would need for the top. I'm going to add more wood pieces to this to keep this stable and sturdy. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. When I was done, I placed it where I wanted it to be, in the bathroom. And because the wood is old, it kind of has a lot of imperfections. So I'm going to start by painting it white, again, to make it look better. And I'll also use caulk on any openings that I have on this piece. After applying caulk, I'm going to make it look much more neater by using a damped paper towel on it to smoothing it out. You can also use a wet foam for this. I'll be mounting what I made with command strips a little bit higher than what it is because I have to put my robe inside. So it's gonna be a little bit short for the robe. So because of that, I'm gonna to have to add a little bit of height at the bottom. So I'm gonna use command strips that hold a lot of weight and lift this up and increase the height for about one feet above the ground. A pair of the command strips that I got can hold up to 16 pounds, so I'll be using three pairs at the bottom and three pairs at the top. 
that way you can hold the wood and also items that I'll have inside the shell. I already have glass that has been cut to size. So now I'm just gonna slide it in. And now I have glass shelves that I already made with old wood planks that I already have. I wanted to see what it was gonna look like without any glass door, but then I decided to just go ahead and use this instead of glass to give it a nice frosted look. I'll have to attach hinges for the doors and because the screen is really fragile, I'm gonna have to attach it on something else before then attaching it to the wood that I have mounted on the wall. I'm using a PVC strip, but you can use wood as well. I had to cover the parts that I'm gonna be cutting out of the screen with tape to reduce the vibration that can cause cracks while I cut. This technique was so helpful because I had straight cuts with minimal cracks. I have to attach this to the piece that I have the hinges attached on. So I left the larger tape on there and stapled down that part to the PVC before mounting it to the wood piece that I already have on the wall. Because I'm using a couple of leftovers, I also have a thin PVC strip that I covered with mirror reflective paper. And I wasn't sure of the silver, so I'm gonna cover what I have with gold contact paper. And the link for all the contact papers used for this project are gonna be down in the description box below. These are all eight feet long PVC thin strips that were perfect for the cabinet to cover up the imperfections of the staple pins. I added push lights on each of the shelves that uses a remote to make it easy to turn the lights on and off because I want all the three pieces to be equally spaced, I had two attached to one door and then one piece attached to the other door. This looks so beautiful in gold. And I know you might have wondered why I didn't use LED strips to make it look similar to the Instagram photo, but I just wanted to try out what it was going to look like with push lights that are going to be dotted inside the shelving versus long lines of lighting. I also made a short clip of what this looks like with a mirror reflective paper. Depending on the theme or the decor pieces that you have in the bathroom, you can either go for gold or silver. This DIY looks so luxurious because of the glass and the lighting and the strips that I added there kind of takes your eye all the way to the top. The total height is 8 feet tall, so it's really catchy to the eyes and it's not only pretty but also functional as well. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Now don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share with your friends and families as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button. 